Hi there. My name is Farouk Sadiq. I'm an animator and I'll be showing you how to use Moho Studio to create animations in less than 60 minutes. Thank you once again for watching. Welcome to Moho Studios. This tutorial is to help you kickstart your animations. Take note, animations require practice. And to be a good animator, you must practice. At the top left corner is your draw tools. Below that is your fill tool. Below that is your layer tools, as highlighted. And below that is your camera tools, also highlighted. And below that is your workspace tool. The big blue box you see in the middle is your entire workspace. And below your workspace is your timeline, where you could create great animations. At the left hand corner is your style and swatch to pick colors to add to your vectors for good animations. And below your style and swatch is your layers where you could create more layers to make great animations. Once again, take note, practice, practice, practice makes a great animator. These tutorials will help you get used to some of the tools that you've been needing to kickstart your animation. If you're watching this video, good, because you're on your way to becoming a great animator. Now that you've been fully introduced to the software, we'll be going straight to animation. For this section, I'll be showing you how to create shape, add bones, create a stick figure character, and animation. You go to File in Moho Studio, create a new file. Now to create a shape, you go to Shape. We'll be using the circle and there you've created a shape and to animate this shape you create a keyframe on your timeline by going to animation add keyframe go move a step further and move your shape you would notice that your shape is moving within the timeline as simple as it is now I'll be showing you how to add bones to add a bone make sure you add frame 0 here click to add a vector or a group create a group or you could go straight to create a bone drag your layer put it in the bone layer and there you have it whenever you click on the bone layer you have your bone tools appear but when you open your bone layer and click on the layer itself you have your layer tools to work with so in your bone layer now you can add bones you go to your add bone tool create a parent and add a bone Go to your manipulate bone tool and there you have it. The bone manipulates the vector itself. But if you notice, the vector warps. So you go to your bone strength tool, reduce the strength of your bone. The strength of your bone is over here. Now we have 0 0.1, approximately 0 0.2. And now you can see that your circle moves freely without being warped. Create a fresh file, go to new, get a new file. We can take this off for now. And let's create our first stick figure character in Moho Studio. Now I'll be using shapes that I showed you before have my shackle drawn pick my add point two I draw the neck I draw the chest I draw the waist down and have me some legs to the knee zoom out a little bit 
and um, the foot labs and the foot okay so and got me the hands finger and finger okay let's adjust this a little bit okay just to make sure that we have um, a fair enough um, you don't want to have one leg, leg longer than one or have the knee uh, by a different place. So I hit Ctrl P to have all the corners sharpened. Now I pick my camera tool, zoom out a little bit. Bring it a little bit further. No, great so like I explained to you before I could create a group or I go straight to bone but since I showed you the bone at, at the latter so right now I create a group drag and drop my layer vector layer in the group then I right click to create my bone layer okay sorry I had not created shape yet for my point so right now I just created shapes for the point, highlight it, go to create shape, create shape, then highlight all to bring out the thickness, increase the width of my stick figure character so that I could see and add proper bone to it. With that being done, I click on the bone layer itself and I have my bone tools appear. Then I click on the add bone tool, add my parent bone, and I create the waist bone, the chest bone, Ctrl Z, the waist bone, the chest bone, the neck bone, and the head bone. Then I hold Alt, click on the chest, create the hand bone the finger hold alt click on the chest create a hand bone and the finger and click on the waist create a leg bone click on the alt click on the waist bone again create control Z that again it has to be spot on okay now we finally created all the bones we need so we reduce the strength of the bones to about 0.2 and to deselect click outside click the selection bone to click outside of the box and it deselects so now we manipulate our bone You can see you have finally created your first character in Moho Studio. Now the next step is to animate this character. Let's do a simple walk cycle to help you start off. Now move to frame one. Have your character set for motion, whichever motion you want it to the set for so add keyframe yes and move a step further let's say frame 12 let's have this character do a little bit of complex animation to help you start off with so i'm going to have the character look both left and right and walk forward okay so at 12, I move my timeline to 6. Ctrl Z for that. All you just need to do is click on the bone you want to shift and you, you, you shift the bone accordingly. So 
so we have the character let's delete the 12 frame so right now let me zoom in a little bit here this up good so I have my character looking then I add on that frame to the shortcut to add on that frame is ctrl F on that keyframe rather ctrl F I run that keyframe there then I have my character turn his head the other way around then dropping this arm along the way while raising this arm then In between we want to make him look feel and feel feel a little bit cartoonish while doing that and we just reduce the the length of the bone so it goes up there so check this out the first animation and the studio good and with that being done we are going to make him walk this way okay so we add a major keyframe so it affects all the layers here then we put him in the motion form so from here let's take frame 54 to switch layers to the sorry copy this first layer excuse me copy this first layer make sure that you are about five frames out so you have a middle frame to play around with so then you go to the the middle frame so you have two frames here and two frames here okay then you switch the legs so you could see that he's already walking okay then you come to the middle here you bend the knee so you see that then you come here and you bend this knee also you see that so I think we'll take this one again. It should be the other leg, not the one I bent. Okay, good. So, and there we have our quick animation in Anime Studio. Now, to make him move forward at frame 30, we'll go to our move tool, click on it. We have it highlighted here then at frame 54 you just shift it a little bit further and there you have it so from frame one and it's a wrap for this tutorial i hope you understand i hope you understand how we got there i will just take you back a little bit <coughs> excuse me the weather is kind of cold here so real quick create using your create shape tool we created a shape created a head using our point tool using our point tool we created the arms the legs for the character then we create we went to to the add layer rather we add um we added a group and that group we right clicked on it and created a bone layer and we added a bone to it and we started our animation by adding a major keyframe at the first point and made him move and simple there you have it 
Yep, and that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Any questions, please feel free to visit www.facebook.com slash kanimateme and I will personally get back to you. Any questions at all that you have, feel free to drop a message on www.facebook.com slash kanimateme and that's a wrap. I hope this simple quick but a little bit complex for the first time type of tutorial for beginners in anime studio really really helps you kickstart your animation thank you once again iron man for rook Sadiq, and i'm out bye bye